talking about playing off man today. Um, these are some of the topics that we'll hit. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing for me uh, on all of this is being able to finish on the ball with great uh, with a, with great eyes. So, what we start with here at Albany um, is my guys, the call, their alignment, their key, and then um, the elimination of the receiver. So that it all it says is like, what's my favorite cake? So as the as my guys walk up to the line of scrimmage or they're getting the the call from the sideline, all right, they're thinking about the call, their alignment, their key, and how they're going to eliminate this receiver. And so I think it's super simple. Um, I love to teach simplicity. Um, all of my drills or most of my drills are names and all of my guys know what those drills are. So we're super efficient in that. Um, so when I ask them, well, what's their cake, then they can tell me, okay, we're playing off man. So my key is the number one receiver, right? My alignment is seven by one yards inside the receiver. Um, and again, how am I going to eliminate this receiver? And then we'll get into what it entails on how to eliminate receivers. Um, but starting off, right, why do we play off man? It allows the DB to play from a top down position. Obviously, that's making us less vulnerable to deeper routes. Um, it also allows the DB to play with vision, breaking on reception areas. The biggest thing um, that off man does, it, it highlights players' athleticism and reactionary change, change of direction uh, skills. I think we'll go over some of those drills. And then, again, having a plan, right? So what I'm playing off man, so am I getting an outside release? Am I getting an inside release? Am I getting a spray release? Okay, what's the down and distance, right, in the split? So, again, all of those things we'll get into, um, but I think those are all major, major keys when you're playing off man. Um, right, so let's talk about keys. Uh, our primary key is a quarterback. So when we're in an off man position, we have our eyes on the quarterback reading for three-step, right? Three-step, five-step, drop back play action, all those type of um, we all those type of things we can get from the, the quarterback. So initially what we're going to do is walk out. So we'll walk out, have a walkout tempo on the snap. Our secondary key, now our eyes transition from quarterback to receiver. We got our three-step key. We got our five-step key. We got our play action key. So now we'll know what to expect from this route. Um, and again, we'll, we'll tempo pedal out, off the quarterback um, and then if we get three step now, we'll set our feet, getting ready to plant and drive, right? If we get drop back or five step, right? We're going to temper our pedal to the receiver. So let's just talk about developing the back pedal. Um, this is pretty standard for everyone for the most part with back pedaling, right? Nose over toes. That's the simplest way for me to say it to my guys. It's super quick, um, right? Our outside foot is slightly forward, arms relax, and our weight is on the front of our foot. Um, pedaling right when we pedal we want to push off that front foot we don't want to full step um, right because then now we're giving the receiver time to close the cushion um, feet skimming the turf right most of the time I want to see the little turf pellets coming up off the ground right and then our elbows are in close to our body and our chin is down right so a lot of people miss this point when teaching back pedaling the head and the chin is the steering wheel of a car so if the player's head is leaning backwards, his body's going to lean backwards. So I teach you should be, the chin should be tucked. And as the, as your chin is tucked, you should be thinking that your head is the car of your body. So wherever your head goes and wherever your chin goes, that's where your body's going to go. So you'll see in our drills where most of the time our chins are tucked and we're ready um, to break in a, in a really good stance. So let's just talk about our, our tempo pedal here. So if you watch, if you watch this drill here, we're going to walk out. So every drill, will, every pedal will start with a walk out, right? And then we'll flip and turn down the line of scrimmage. All right, so that walk out tempo is basically reading a quarterback for three step. Now we have drills again where I'm the quarterback, I'll stand inside and I'll do a five step, a three step drop or a five step drop or play action drop. Um, but to start everything in, in these, basically our everyday drills will start with a walk out tempo.